Hello everybody, welcome to Best Under Dot N and today we bring you the best phones that you should buy under 10k this mid 2017. Remember the ranking is not in any particular order because the phone choices vary from person to person. Each of them is a great value for the money and we have included only those phones that were released this year. The 10k range is the most sought after range in India and as technology advances, the choices are becoming better and better. You can easily get features that in year earlier were retained just for the higher flagship ranges. But as always, you have to make a choice by deciding on what compromises you can go on with because there is nothing known as an ideal phone. As always, you can find the best buy links in the description below. So use them if you want to buy any of these phones. And without further ado, let's start. The first phone to make it to our list is a rookie smartphone that has got the basics right and can be a great alternative for budget smartphone seekers, the Infinix Note 4. Sporting an unconventional 5.7 inch Full HD screen, 4300mAh battery with fast charging, dedicated slots and Android Nougat at a budget of just under 10k, Infinix is going heads on with its competitors. Additionally, the phone also has both front and rear flash along with Wi-Fi AC. Of course, all this doesn't come with some desperate cost-cutting measures like plastic build, a use of an older MediaTek chipset and a host of bloatware apps. Also, the after-sale services is something that we cannot give much assurance of. To conclude, if tablet experience is what you want, then go for this phone, but don't expect it to be lightweight and also watch out on the trust issues from this Chinese giant. The second option on our list is the recently launched phone, the U Eureka Black. This is the only 4GB RAM phone on this list. Combine this with the Snapdragon 430 and a 5-inch Full HD screen and you are good to go with a 9K budget phone. Though being a white-labeled Vico U Feel Prime smartphone, a saddening lack of innovation on U Televentures part, the product that the end user gets, to be frank, is worth the price. The 2.5D Gorilla Glass and the inclusion of front and rear flash is a nice bonus. On the negative side, for some users, the hybrid SIM slot may be the deal breaker. Also, the 3000mAh battery is not supported by fast charging abilities. So if you want a really good looking phone with 4GB RAM and full HD screen for media consumption, then this is the right device for you. Also, if you want these same specs with dedicated slots, then at a slightly higher price you can go for the Panasonic Eluga Ray Max 32GB variant. It also is a very good phone, in fact very similar to the U Eureka Black but after the launch of U Eureka Black, we feel the Eluga Ray Max to be slightly overpriced. The third option on our list is a slightly older release, the Lenovo K6 Power 3GB variant. The Lenovo K6 Power ticks all the right checkboxes. It has a good camera, Dolby Atmos audio, reliable build and a good performance. Overall, for the 10K price, the Lenovo K6 Power is a pretty solid choice for those who want a compact 5-inch Full HD smartphone with stellar 4000mAh battery life. The negatives, however, are again the hybrid SIM slot and the lack of fast charging support for the large battery. Also with the Lenovo K6 Power, there are almost negligible chances of getting an upgrade to Android Nougat which even the U Eureka Black is destined to get. Next on our list, we have the latest budget release from Motorola, the Moto E4 Plus. The Moto E4 Plus has a bunch of unique features that pave its way into our list. Firstly, it is the only MediaTek powered phone that we think is worth buying. Secondly, the massive 5000mAh battery supported by fast charging will keep it alive for about 2 days even with power users. Thirdly, if a big screen is your fascination then this one with 5.5 inches HD screen and 2.5D glass will surely allow you. Additionally, the phone also has front as well as rear flash along with dedicated slots for dual SIMs and memory card. The Android Nougat is also a nice bonus. With so much in the box, Motorola has taken some cost-cutting measures too, by not including a Snapdragon chipset and scaling down the 5.5 inch screen to just HD resolution. The phone is slightly heavier than all the other options on this list and the Moto Cam is not as impressive as the brand is known for but overall, it surely is one of the best options to consider under 10K.
Last but not the least on our list is the most powerful phone on the 10K, the Redmi 4 3GB variant. With the latest and fastest Snapdragon 435 chipset, a great 4100mAh battery and a 2.5D stylish build at just 9K, this phone is according to us the best option in the 10K. This Redmi 3S Prime successor comes with iterative upgrades but still is a bang for the buck. Though the negatives still remain same, that is hybrid SIM slot, HD screen, the annoying flash sales and the lack of Qualcomm's quick charge. It's really strange that despite sporting the best Snapdragon chipset at 10K, this phone doesn't really make full use of it. Nevertheless, Xiaomi has succeeded in giving nightmares to Samsung in the budget range. And at this stage, one can safely say that it's hard to go wrong with the Xiaomi. So these were the best 4 phones that you should consider if your budget is somewhere around 10k. Apart from these, some users will be questioning, what about Nokia and Samsung phones? Well to be frank, best in the dot in doesn't think Samsung or Nokia gives a worthy competition to these 4 phones. Samsung is led by the Samsung On7 Pro while Nokia is being led by the Nokia 3. And if in case you are a brand conscious person, then please go for the Nokia 3. And if you can make up your mind, then Moto E4 Plus will be the best. Samsung phones are not just best value for money. If you have any questions regarding any of these phones then be sure to leave your question in the comment section down below. And if you decide on buying any of these phones then also look below and you will find the best buy links in the description. Be sure to use them. It will help the channel. Finally don't forget to like, share and subscribe.